Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be cleaning the turbo on this Volkswagen Jetta TDI in five minutes. These older generation VNT turbos have some issues with the vane sticking. This car has a VNT 17 on it, so we're gonna be taking it off, cleaning it. When the vanes stick on these, you'll get overboost conditions and it can even put the car in lip mode. So here's some of the parts you're gonna need. Intake manifold gasket, exhaust manifold gasket, exhaust manifold nuts, Turbo oil line crush washers, turbo return line gasket, downpipe gasket, new intake manifold bolts. We also have a couple of wire brushes here to help with cleaning. So these guys are optional. You can replace them if you want to, but you might as well while you're in there, just in case you have any leaks. And we also got a Harbor Freight Special ultrasonic parts cleaner. We're gonna see how this does. First thing you wanna do is get off all the intake parts, charge pipe boot, intake manifold pipe. You charge pipe elbow off. There's a bolt down here that we need to take off to get off the turbo in the pipe. Film froggy. Ribbit. Got the pipes out. Now it's time to take off the intake manifold. There's a leaf in there. This is the PD150 intake as well. This is not your normal air engine thing. Intake manifold is out. Next is the turbo. We're going to have to remove the oil lines. If you look down here, you can see the nuts on top of the turbo. Got the intake manifold loaded up in the parts cleaner. We got some purple power here, I guess is that the same thing. Looks like a chicken fryer. After we're done cleaning, we're gonna deep fry some chicken in here. Load her up. We don't dilute things around here. How does this stuff like aluminum? About to find out. It's gonna shrink. It's gonna shrink like a, like a, like a shirt. <laughs> 25 degrees short. That's a horrifying one. This is the silence. Put the silence right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sick of working in dirt patches on your knees like we do? Huh? Good thing we have the mud mat. Brought to you by Suga. The mud mat is a multi-purpose pad that can protect you and your car from the elements. It features an aluminum G-hook for portability and an inside surface made with thorn guard, a soft yet tough water shedding material. The outer layer is made of a tough vinyl material that provides a barrier between you and rocky, rough, or wet surfaces. There are multiple colors available as well. As you can see here, we have a blue and a camo version. The mud mat can also be used to cover the seats in your car if you're coated in dirt, grease, or other substances. Additionally, you can use it to protect the interior of your car from dirty parts when transporting. The mud mat is also designed and built right here in North Carolina. If you happen to be watching this video within the first 30 days of posting, be sure to use our discount code GHG15 with the link in the description below for 15% off your order. If you're as unlucky as we are, you're going to have to cut off one of the downpipe studs. All right, we got the turbo out. and had to do some magic here to get some of these studs out. We're going to pull apart the housing. Get all the VNT components out, separate them, put them in the ultrasonic cleaner, get everything cleaned up, and slap it back on the car. You're gonna to wanna to remove these exhaust housing bolts here and go around the turbo so we can separate the exhaust housing from the turbine side. When you take apart the housing here, try to mark it so whenever you reinstall it, everything's clocked the same. You may need to hit it with a little bit of heat. All right, so we got the two housings separated here. It's not terrible, but it definitely needs to be cleaned out. Take these little fold down pins out. Clean your unison ring. And we got these three torques here. This should come out and show all the fingers. We clean off this side with wire brush. Looks like the ultrasonic cleaner did pretty well here. I'm gonna start reinstalling into the turbo. There's a ring right here. You gotta make sure all these holes line up into the casting. Go ahead and put these little standoffs back in. They kind of move around so what we're probably going to do is put this back in here, line everything up, and we'll get the unison ring back in. Make sure you take a couple pictures when you take this thing apart so you can put it back together correctly. So right. if you move it in this way, you want to make sure all of these are the leading edge or the pointy side of your fins. And you rotate the other way, you don't want to see anything. Now the tricky part is going to be aligning this hole with this little lever right here. From this pin in the hole. All right, we got everything assembled here. Nice actuation. Let's throw it back on the car. Now right, we got the new exhaust manifold gas going in. All right, so once you get these nuts on here, you're gonna torque these to 18 foot pounds. Make sure you put these nuts back on, then you can put the spacer. We're slapping on the intake manifold and the rest of the intake components. All right, now we got everything back together. Charge piping, turbo inlet piping. We go ahead and get this thing started up, see how it runs. Gonna do a little second gear pull here and see how the boost pressure is. Look at that. Beautiful. 
Good stuff. Five minutes later. All right, so before we were boosting about 30 PSI and it was kind of staying up there in the 25 PSI range. But now you can see that it's boosting to about 20, 25, the initial spike, which is normal, and then settling at about 15, which is exactly what we want. This is all we have for this video. See you guys next time.